Hello. One day out. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I oh, fucking, I hate people. I, I, I hate human beings sometimes. The reason why I hate people, I've got to have rice, right? And I've got microwavable bags of rice. Go down to the hotel room, to the reception. Hey, is there any chance of borrowing a microwave? Is there any chance of using the microwave and I'll come down each time? No, we can't do that because of COVID. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever fucking heard. You absolute, f you absolute plebs. Anyway, you sexy melons. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, I feel a bit stressed, if I'm honest. So I'm just gonna just talk willy-nilly, willy-nilly, cash for ruby, bip and bip. Coach has let me know what I've got to do. And we will listen to him together, shall we? Yeah, I was thinking the old kettle tactic. Um, yeah. That was using the microwave a ball rice in a kettle. You can kind of steam the bag, but it doesn't fit in the kettle. Yeah, I know the green rice is whole, I was going to say, make it with minimal water. Um, you got bagels. It, it doesn't really matter, I just want to trickle them in. Um, thing is, you want a little bit of water going in with them, just sips. So if you have a bagel, so you're going to have, have, have two bagels, but have like, have one bagel, then wait an hour, have another bagel, um, and have little sips of water with it. So, just like, like eat. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you hear that? But there were some shots that I sent to coach this morning for check-in, and I looked. He's literally sent me, this shot here I love. I want you to walk out on stage and stand like this. Classic as fuck. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he's, uh, so it's, it's that shot there. Probably can't even see that, can you? Can you even see that? Can you see that or not? Look at me rocking my sliders. But he was like, he wants me to walk right out on stage and just go bang and hit that shot. I haven't drank a sip of water since 12.06 and it's 3.40. So almost four hours I haven't had a sip of water. So I'm gonna go back down to the truck now, go and grab bagels like he's just mentioned and rice cakes. I brought, I brought those rice cakes up and, and my bottle of water and just take some sips. So that's, uh, that's really good. But apart from that, I feel okay. It's just, you know, when, like whenever I worked places and people needed, a, you know, a helping hand or someone needed a, like a little, just a bit of help. Like with any, with, with anything, it, whatever it might have been, just like, I remember working at Tesco and little old ladies used to come and ask me for help or just anything, anywhere, for anyone. I'll just try and bend the rules if it's not that fucking important, do you know what I mean? And I said, hey, I'm competing in a competition tomorrow and I need to eat specific foods at specific times with a specific amount. Can you help me? No, COVID. That's the answer. It's just their attitude as well. You just want to what? So fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want to do to their face. But anyway, go down, grab some, gra grab a, grab a, a pack of bagwells. Shall I kind of show you my midsection? Shall I give it away? This is pre-tan. Halfway through loading and peaking my carbs through the one day out. Shall I show you? I'll show you. There's a vacuum. That. Is a vacuum. Have it. Just to confirm, my next meal is one plain bagel and tiny, tiny sips of water. So I'm, I'm actually gonna really enjoy this. I'm just gonna nibble on it and then an hour later, have another one, and then by that time, I head off for town, which I'm excited about. I'm excited to see what I look like pre and post term. <laughs> Just uh, woke up for a nice look from a nice little nap. So about a 20 minute power nap. I've had two bagels split. You probably heard coach, didn't you? Um, split 
an hour's apart and I've had about that much water from my from a little mug. Just a little update for you. I've just gone for a shower. Honestly, the amount of messages that I have been receiving from everybody through text, Facebook, Instagram, you know who you are. Honestly, thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I mean heart. Honestly, it means so much. I'm getting so many, I didn't know that many people cared, gave a shit was following my journey, was following this. I honestly didn't know. And uh, I, it, it's quite, quite mind-boggling some of the messages in terms of me inspiring them and motivating you and just, yeah, it's, it's uh, it, I did, I'm just a small town girl living in a jury's in hotel. <laughs> anyway, I am, Gonna get into my nice new track, my nice new tracksuit. Gonna put that on now. He's on. Yeah, told you. I bought an XL uh, because they they said wear big baggy black dark clothing. So that's what I've gone for. And it's really nice. It smells nice. And there's no tight cuffs. No tight cuffs around the foot, around the feet, which is super which will ensure that the tanning stuff won't come off my ankles and my wrists. I'm here, I'm at Emporium Gym. You can see it from here. I might take you in, I'll take you in. But no doubt, I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna be able to, um, I'm not gonna be able to film. They were like, sorry, but uh, everyone's cock is out and flaps. And the majority of everyone's anus is on show, so please put your imagery detective material away. Devices away. I will take you in, see if I can get some cool shots or whatever of the gym, because I've never been in here before. Let's go get tanned. So this is what I'm looking like now. All white. And tan is done. How am I looking? Am I looking more golden? Am I looking more golden brown? The most awkward yet hilarious situation I have ever been in my life. I was in a tiny room, proper fumy, with like 10 guys, butt naked, with tiny sports socks, like literally like Asda sports socks, wrapped around a, wrapped around a clack. Hang on. Oh my God, I've still got it on. <laughs> Hang on. This is brilliant. Wearing that <laughs> over my over my cod piece, that with like 10, 15 other chaps, all with our asses out, literally nothing but this, in tiny little tents in this tiny room, fumes everywhere, fans going off. We got into that much of a conversation. I'm following a few new ones on Instagram now. This is, this is the man that has the walnut butt. The walnut tries. What? That was a fun experience, wasn't it? Weird. Wasn't it? I suck. Like, <laughs> okay. The, no, I've just, never had a cock sock in my life. This. Okay. This is how much I'm not dealing with right now down there. It just kept falling off. And she was like, you might as well just take it off. Did you put the balls in? Put the balls in? Yeah, I broke, they're I, too small to put in. Yeah, I, put, I just, I shoved, I got every last, <laughs> millimetre of just sackage and I just rammed everything in there. Uh, mine just kept around. Did you? <laughs> well, that's how much I'm not dealing with. Yeah, uh, no. there's nothing going I on. I told you there, to take the pants off and just dust come down. <laughs> just tap. Right, right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Should I go on the one? Hey, I'll, I'll be on YouTube, mate. Yes. Be on tube. Perfect. See you tomorrow, mate. Let's get it. Hey, you guys. <laughs> not again. Okay, so uh, back at the hotel, um, quick update for you, super, super quick. Uh, what time is it? It's pretty late actually, if I'm honest, it's 10 to 10 at night. So the plan of attack is, have a look at my bod.
So we're going to try and make me look tighter, fuller, bigger. Tan is on, base coats, uh, base coats on. Top coat, top coat is going on at 7 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going to put on a bit of maybe Disney. Probably not going to get much sleep, but that's the way it goes because I'm so all over the place. I'm so busy. So this is one day out. I don't know how I'm going to video this. I don't know if this is going to go up now. If it is, thank you so much for watching. And <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode, which will be show day. If this moves into tomorrow, then superb, no doubt. Let's finish it here. I'm going to finish it here. I'm going to finish the video here. Thank you so effing much. We are, we are going on stage tomorrow. I'm feeling so, so excited. I met some great guys earlier at the tanning place. No doubt I'll meet some more tomorrow. And I'll meet more behind backstage. And I'm going to get excited. I can't wait to see mum. Pass her the camera because she's going to video while I'm on stage. And just, yeah, just everything. I'm just so, so excited. And uh, this is all so brand new to me. And I am absolutely buzzing for it. I just can't wait to get on there and just demonstrate what I've worked so fucking hard for. Let's bring it home. Bring it home. Much love, you melons. Ta-ra.